staff on the sevens. Uh, just know that we will have enough time afterwards for one-on-ones. So, um, uh, just yeah, be mindful of that. Okay, so uh, without further ado, Mr. Alexander. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks for attending this media announcement today. Firstly, I want to thank the outgoing coach, Neil, Neil Powell, for his sterling contribution to the success of our team over the years. He has put a system in place that has made us, our blitz box, one of the respected teams on the circuit. And we wish him well in his new position as director of rugby of the Sharks. Secondly, it gives me great pleasure to announce the new coaching team for the blitz box. On my right, Sandile Novo, who is the head coach, congratulations. And our assistant coach, Philip So, gentlemen, we open for questions. Mark, lady. Mark, so just take us through just the process of, you know, how you went about selecting, sort of what was the criteria that you as a uh, union used, you know, to make sure that there's continuation from that success that you speak of? You know, we have a coaching pathway, and, uh, and a rugby department works with that coaching pathway of, of people that come through. Uh, Sandili was, uh, was first assistant coach at, 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 at the, uh, the academy. He then became uh, the coach of the academy. So he's come through a pathway, you know, and he's, he's had a lot of success as a player as well. As far as uh, Neil is concerned, uh, Neil, Neil was a player and he was the captain of when he won the series in 2007, Philip. in 2018. Philip, sorry, sorry. Philip. He was also a coach at, at the SAS Academy. He helped Uganda and Uganda qualify for the Commonwealth Games and he helped Germany qualify for the, the Rugby World Cup uh, sevens that just take place, taken place. So these two gentlemen have been in the system and we have a system where we've been in the coaches group. Like we have a system for the 15th players. We have a system here and then these guys come came through the system. So you know they've been here for, over, for a long time now and, uh, and I congratulate both of them. We've got a full confidence in both of these uh, individuals and we will support them as we do to all our coaches. Uh, Sanika, congratulations to you and good afternoon. Um, this is the culmination of perhaps years of <coughs> your own struggles with the game. I know you had to retire at a very young age, but what can you tell us about what this means to you, your family, your friends, and just your rugby in general? Oh, thank you very much. I think um, it's, uh, it's it's certainly a privilege and honour to be trusted with uh, leading my country and our system. And I'd like to thank Salu. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, Mario Schumann as well for backing me and the team, for backing myself and Philip Sneeman um, to lead the team. Uh, it means a lot. It's a, it's a privilege and honour. So I mean, you obviously uh, been in the system and so has Philip. Um, what did you guys think? Uh, I mean, we've had a, a up and down year a bit. I mean, after a very successful period, what would you think that should you change or could you change that's going to return the team to number one in the world? Uh, and maybe Philip can follow up after you. Yeah, I think it's a it's a combination of a few things, and I think the first thing is inconsistency. If I can put it, sum it up together to one word, it's just inconsistency of of uh, performance and uh, players. So the first thing that we'd like to do is make sure that our, our cornerstone is our academy and make sure that they they are at a certain level so the coaches can have a bigger pool for selection and make sure that whoever's making a step up is ready and continue the standard to, to, to give the results or implement our processes. Philip, you've been involved with the academy and <coughs> very in depth involved. Will you tell us uh, how you can use that or how you have used it in the past to make the box, bridge box number one. Yeah, definitely. I think in the past, um, there was always a lot of inner competition in the team. And I think that was also when we first chatted and going forward, roles and responsibilities is really to get the players hungry again and, and yeah, to get them all on the same page. So I think that will be our main focus. And like um, Coach Dick said now, um, we need to be more consistent going um, into this next World Series. Um, but we have a, a great coaching team, um, a lot of experience um, from um, the guys um, in the office so um, backing us. So hopefully we can tweak one or two things and, and get on the winning path again. 
on Delia, what are the um, <coughs> salient features of um, everything, all, all the great things that were done um, the past few years as, as well? What are the salient sort of features, principles that you would like to carry forward into your reign? I mean, I just I think it's a, it's, a, it's a standard of which we did things and implementing our laws and our responsibilities and, and, and which level that we do it in. And we would like to strive for perfection, you know, in implementing our processes. And we don't like to think too much of the results. And we know that if we implement the game plan to, to perfection, the results will take care of itself. So that's, that's, that's what we would like to work on and uh, make sure that we instill it with, with precision. So Dile, um, obviously being an assistant for many years, would you say this appointment came at the right time with your career now and was it something that was on your mind to the most? And one to your mark, was it hard to make the decision to face left with Sanila? Yeah, look, I think you, as a coach, you don't want to compare yourself to, to other coaches, you know. You want to make sure that you, as an academy coach, you make sure that you scout the right the right individual and make sure that they're ready for, to make the step up when the head coach of the system needs it and is called upon. So from, from my point of view as an academy coach, I needed to make sure that there's a standard. We firstly get the right individuals and there's a standard in which they are coached to make sure that they're ready for, for the step up. So was the time ready? I think that people who are uh, who trusted us, who trust us into leading Mr. Mark Alexander, Saru, and uh, Marius Kuman, they know that it was the right time, purely based on the results that we've been, we've been uh, giving the system. So, <coughs> so, 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 I don't know how hard it was difficult to make this decision. That wasn't difficult. You know, any organization is only as strong as its nursery, and our academy is our nursery. Sandile worked with the players and he knows the systems that we have in play. So it was easy for him to come in and to take over this role. Because he's part of the system already, so it was an easy decision. Sandile, you speak about um, continuation and processes. Um, could you just tell me perhaps um, your relationship with Neil and how you guys worked together prior to your appointment? And then also anything he has said to you um, leading up to, to this moment? Yeah, geez. That's, I'll probably need the whole day to speak about my relationship with, with Neil, but it's certainly a, a special one. Um, I came in as obviously the academy and I worked with Marius Skuman and then from then on I made my debut, I got the call up from Neil and that's where our relationship started. But I think it got more deeper as I, um, I got integrated into being a coach and I took interest in the deeper part of the game and, and that's, that's when myself and Neil started having more authentic uh, conversations into how we should be approaching the game and, and I learned a lot, certainly learned a lot. If you could just tell me um, anything he's told you um, about your appointment, um, any sort of uh, good luck messages or anything like that? Well, look, I think it's, 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 it's one, one quote that will, will, will stick with me for, for a very long time, you know, in under pressure an individual seldom rises to the occasion, but he defaults to the, his best form of preparation. And that for me just sums up everything that I, I learned from, from day one to this very day. It's all about prep and implementation, the standard in which you implement your processes to get your results. And it's got nothing to do with results, it's just about how you implement. Sandy, um, I just want to find out if you can opportunity to meet with the team, uh, if so, what were kind of the first words you said to the team? If not, what are the first words that you're going to say to the team once you have it together? Well, we trained this morning, so I said we'll come back to work. <laughs> <laughs> That's the first thing I said. So we trained, we we back to work and we're back at it. So like I said, we the cornerstone is our academy, so we needed to look up. We have to look after them while the seniors are resting, and they're excited. The guys are hungry, and we want to get the whole squad hungry again. But uh, there's, there's, there's certainly uh, mixed emotions. It was a roller coaster this week, but there's certainly some sort of excitement into what lies ahead. Six. Part of your journey is obviously looking ahead now, and we done and dusted with the meal together. It's your year and I'll along with Philip. You know, mentioned there's a few players leaving the system, obviously you have to now both, if we can call it that. Is that something that you kind of just realized that you need to focus on also moving forward to 
ensure that success and obviously just create your own stamp on the team? Yeah, I think we had this conversation, myself and Philip, this, this morning actually, or having a coffee, was that, again, it all boils down to the academy. If we, if we can go scout the right individuals that the system needs, um, we've got a formula, we've, we know exactly which individuals we need in specific areas, and uh, that, that, that will guarantee us another um, four to six years. Uh, Sandile, Philip, um, can I just ask what you guys um, planning on doing um, in how you guys plan on stamping your authority or stamping your um, your footprint on the team in terms of on the play? Is there anything um, specific um, that you want to do differently from the previous uh, area on the field? Of the field? Well, yes, I think that this game of sevens is actually very beautiful because it just keeps evolving every week. So we, we're learning as, as, as time goes by. We learned a couple of things this weekend, but we're not going to change. We're not going to change much. We don't need to stamp our authority when there is a system in place and there's a culture in place. I mean, as the game evolves, we'll, we'll, we'll tweak a few things, but um, there's, there's just certain processes that we, we, we have and we'll, we'll continue with them. Yeah, um, like like Steve said there, um, obviously the structures and everything is in place has been in place for the for the last couple of years. Um, so um, I don't think, um, like you said, it would be fair to us to change a lot of things. But with new personalities and new people coming into the system, and also one or two new players coming coming into the system, the dynamics of the team will change, and we will look into that and play towards our strength. Um, so with guys leaving and new guys coming in, um, new guys taking over, obviously one or two things will change, but um, hopefully it will be for the greater of the game and for the greater of Springbok Sevens, because for us we just want to see the system going forward. And for this time now we're such a small part, but Springbok Sevens we know will always be there. And and be grateful for this opportunity to hopefully take it to the next level. Philip, you <coughs> would have played with some of the guys that are still in the system. Does that change the dynamic in a way where you now come in as the leader, one of the leaders within the setup and the system? Um, I don't doubt that there's buy-in from these players, but for you personally, how do you approach that? Obviously, before you were dealing with it differently. Um, you know, you guys were on the equal level, yes, you were captain as well, but now as person giving instruction, do you approach that differently with dealing with players? I think um, from past experience I learned a lot. I was on the other side of the fence and when coach Neil Powell took over, um, I was one of the senior guys that played with him and then um, later on become, or became his captain. So I think the same age and I think um, we must use that in our advantage. We really know the players. Um, and use it in our advantage to win their trust and for us as management it's going to be important firstly to make sure we have a strong management and then also to win the trust of the players if we can do that and especially the senior group um, if we can win their trust we know they will play for us and um, they will play for Springbok 7 so I think that will be our biggest challenge um, to make sure everybody's on the same page and to win their trust over and then I know the system will be successful. How important was that international experience that you were able to, to, to pick up as Mark mentioned, with Uganda, with the German team, um, obviously Germany being at the World Cup. How important was that for you personally to be able to, to get that behind you and bring that experience out to the second setup? Yes, over the last couple of months um, in my personal life as a coach, um, I've learned a lot, I've grown a lot, and also learned something different from, from other systems and other setups. So, um, yeah, it's been a great experience for me um, as a coach. And hopefully, um, we can, I can use some of that um, going forward into into this um, new coaching journey. But um, within saying that, um, happy with the coaching stint at Uganda, happy with the coaching stint um, with Germany. But there's nothing like this wearing the green and gold again. So really grateful to be part of the system again. Yep. Um, yeah, by ervaring ook te doen um, oor die laaste paar maande internationale ervaring um, en druk tye ook om te kwalificeer vir die, vir die staat te kon spele met Uganda en met die wereldbeker met, met um, Duitsland. So uh, ek denk nie mens kan een prijs daaran koppel nie. Um, baie geleer en ook mens kan, kan dit in mense in toekomst voor en toe gebruik en 
Um, maar zelfs de tijd, dat is niks zo so lekker om je groene goud baakje aan te trekken en weer die op de weer van je systeem. En ik denk, dat is iets waar, waar we ons altijd gedroom het en die tijd het aangebreek so baie bevoorig om weer die op van je systeem te wees. Philip, uh, ek het gehoor langs die, um, na, na die rekker die wereld teken, een paar, paar kinders het gesê dat uh, die, die blitsbokken moet ook probeer om weer een beetje meer physicality naar die, die span toe te brengen. Denk je dat is een relevante punt of is het een van de oeranalyse? Ja, dat is een zeker interessante punt en dat is zeker iets waar we ons moeten inkijken. En ik denk, als we zo zoals voor hem toe gaan, ik denk dat het gaan belangrijk is voor elke om zijn rol te verstaan in die span. Um, so ek sê, een of twee spelers wat, 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 wat aanbeweeg en ook een of twee nieuwe spelers, maar voor ons om een perfecte combinatie, um, mens wil ook nie, as ek my so kan sê, die spoed en alles prijs geef wat Springbok 7 so gevaarlijk maak en so speciaal maak nie, um, so voor ons sal het er erg gaan om een combinatie te vind van ouders wat die harde werk voor kan doen, om een platform te leven. Want een ding waarvan ik zeker is, als onze platform kan leveren, die spoed en die, en, 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 en die vleer wat ons achter het, weet ik ons, ons kan enige, uh, enige spanpunte geven. Dus so, voor ons zal het gaan om die combinaties recht te krijgen en tot ons sterkpunten te spelen. Um, maar ja, dit is iets waar ons al in kyk is om een beetje meer fysiek te wees. Yeah. Mark, perhaps one for you, and I always ask me this question tongue in cheek, because I'd like to find out if there's a length of time to the contract the coaches have, or can they also spend close to a decade coaching the kids once? No, the co we, we value the coaches on an annual basis. They got, like everybody else, got KPIs. But we like people, who we, we try and keep looking at continuity. So the, the, we want to value the coaches as they go along and assist them to grow as, as individuals. There's no time for every place for them, you know, because uh, when you've got continuity and it works, you stick to it. It's very broken, so we, why, why fix it? So, and that's our policy. So we will continue with the continuity and continue with the pathway to bring other coaches through as we go along. What, what are the qualities of these guys that elevated them about, about other candidates? What is it that... Look, look, first you have to be in the system, and they were in the system. So we look at candidates that are currently in the system that are working with them. These guys came through the system, they came from playing into the system and they're there. Like we did with, with, with all the coaches, we were like, one deal is tick was in the academy in, in PE. Uh, uh, Dion Davids was in SVD. Uh, what is the other guy? The, the ladies coach, uh, uh, what's name was, was in, 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 in pass. So they came through the system. These guys identified years ago. So there is a system, a pathway. And again, we got 15 coaches now currently on a pathway for the 15s that have been identified. So at the end of the year, they'll qualify for what they've done and they'll, they'll be put into the system to to coach in the franchise. So there is a system in place and we've got a pathway and that, the guys coming through that path that we identified like these two individuals. Firstly as players, then as coaches and now now the national coach. And uh, and I think uh, for, for them just, just recently playing the game, they can relate to the players even better. Things change as you go, players change and, and, and they can relate to the players and relate to the, the, the problems players experience when playing the game. Yeah, we are going to be able to get to the city. We are going to be able to get to the city. We are going to be able to get to the city.